Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and this time we are looking at a very interesting utility style knife. This is the Okea Shidogami, our white paper number two, 24 millimeter. Uh, it's listed on the Chef Knives to Go site as a Kogatana, and I did some research, and a lot of times the Kogatanas are listed as curved, like uh, wood carving knives or carving knives. And um, a Kiri Dashi is, is known as a utility knife, and a lot of them were shaped very similar to this with a straight edge and a point to it. And so I'm going to label this as a Kiridashi Kogatana. The core steel is, of course, as I mentioned, Shidogami or white paper number two, reactive carbon steel. Heat treat is not specified on the site, so I'm going to assume it's around 60 Rockwell-ish. And the construction is a soft iron cladding over the top of that core steel. This is a true single bevel blade, so it has two layers, the softer iron cladding on the top, and on the bottom or back side of the blade we have the uh, layer of hard core, I should say hard steel, and uh, in this case of course it's Shidogami. The uh, weight on the knife is 72 grams, 2.5 ounces, blade length right at 60 millimeter, and that's measuring this area right here, the straight, you know, the part of the edge itself. The overall length about seven and a quarter inches. The Spine thickness is pretty similar throughout, and above the grind of the blade, I measured it about 2.8 millimeters. The blade height, that's where the 24 millimeter comes in, and I measured that right here above where the blade, kind of the heel starts, and that's about just slightly less than an inch or 24 millimeters. This knife, uh, let's take a closer look at it, as I mentioned, is a true single bevel. So it has a very interesting uh, cladding, kind of a reminiscent of a nashiji or pear skin type finish, but with deeper uh, recesses that have uh, a black tint to them. It's really a nice effect. So this is a, the finish on the knife is nice. The, the corners and edges are rounded a bit. So it's a nicely done knife. I did some sharpening on this, and we'll talk about that in a second. This does have a true concave style back known as a urosuki. And the way you sharpen the, a single bevel backside is typically you'll lay it completely flat on the stone. And as you abrade on the stone, the perimeter steel will get ground down. And that's how you take care of the backside. The front side of the blade has a true uh, shinogi and blade road. And um, you can see the two layers right there. One of the cool things I think would be great about this knife, besides just being a general purpose utility knife for cutting string, boxes, wire zip ties, you name it, um, is to be a tool to learn to do single bevel sharpening. And there are a few different techniques you can use on single bevel sharpening. And uh, you can put micro bevels, you can do a, a totally flat blade road, you can do a couple different angles that are merged into each other. There are a variety of techniques, and it does take some practice to get acquainted with those, and also what uh, types of finishes your particular sharpening stones will put on a blade. This particular one I practiced on a number of different um, sharpening stones, ended up with a uh, high grit or finishing natural stone, and you can see I didn't quite get all the way out to the edge for the Kasumi finish, and I think that might have been based on the synthetic stones I had. I didn't quite have super flat, but uh, anyway. Think about getting one of these. They're inexpensive. Uh, they've got a short blade rope. They're straight. You don't have a big curve to deal with. And as I said, I think they're an excellent, excellent tool to learn some of the ins and outs of single bevel sharpening before you pony up for a big, big dollar uh, single bevel style knife that might be a little more difficult to sharpen. And if you mess one of these up, you're not going to be hurting as much as a, a much more expensive traditional single bevel style blade. So I think this is a great tool for that. Nicely made, great steel, very inexpensive, and a great learning tool. So there we have a, a utility knife, the Okea Shirogami, our white number two, 24 millimeter Kiridashi Kogatana.